If you've been following my newsletter, you've heard me talk about prebiotics before. Simply put, they're the food that feeds probiotics, the bugs in your gut. And if you want a healthy, well-balanced gut, you need prebiotics. Think of them like fertilizer for the garden in your gut. Maybe you saw my video explaining leaky gut. It's a great chance to see prebiotics in action. And if you haven't watched it yet, I'll put a link in the description of this video. Along with leaky gut, prebiotics are connected to improved nutrient absorption, more comfortable, smoother digestion, improved triglyceride levels, and cholesterol levels. And they've even been linked to more efficient weight loss. But how can you make sure you're getting enough prebiotics? And where the heck can you find them? Well, one of my favorite ways is to drink my prebiotics. In fact, that's why I created PreBioThrive, my powdered prebiotic formula that dissolves in any drink. I suggest trying it with Vital Reds. But it's also a good idea to incorporate plenty of prebiotic-rich foods into your diet. So today I want to share a few of my favorites with you. First, flaxseed. Not only is it a great source of fiber, but it's rich in healthy omega-3 fats. And you can bake with it, add it to stir fries or coconut yogurt, or even blend it into a smoothie. Now, it's important to realize that flax seeds have no lectins, and they can't be digested whole. So don't waste your time buying the flaxseed cereal or the flaxseed crackers and seeing all those whole flax seeds. They're worthless. But buy it whole and grind it yourself in a coffee or a spice grinder. But then keep it in the fridge or the freezer to keep it fresh longer. Next up, artichokes. You can prepare them whole and eat them. But if you want to make your life easier, I suggest buying frozen artichoke hearts. It takes the prep work down to nothing. And they basically look like this. And if you want a delicious and lectin-free way to enjoy those artichoke hearts, keep an eye on my channel in the coming weeks. I'll be sharing one of my favorite recipes from the Plant Paradox with you right here. And third, we've got leeks. Now, they're a cousin of onions. And if you're not already using leeks in your cooking, you should be. They're easy to cook with and delicious. So just make sure to slice them in half the long way and then rinse them thoroughly in cold water before using, or they may taste a little gritty. After that, use them in cooked food, anywhere you'd use onions. Next up, okra. Now this is one of those foods that people either love or hate. And most of the time it comes down to one thing, the texture the sliminess. I'll be the first to say it. Okra can be a little slimy, especially if you don't know how to prepare it. But it's a great source of prebiotic fiber and it absorbs lectins. It's even an ingredient in my lectin shield. So how do you prepare it correctly? My suggestion, saute it over very high heat or roast it until it's crispy. If you want a recipe, there's a video right here on my YouTube channel. And the good news, if you can't find it fresh, no worries. Frozen okra is available in most grocery stores, and it's just as good. Just make sure to thaw it out and pat it dry before you use it to cut down on the slime factor. And last but not least, jicama. Now, this one may be brand new to you, or you may have tried it before. It's a delicious, crispy vegetable that tastes like a, like a cross between an apple and a potato and it's incredibly high in prebiotic fiber. Now, you can cook with jicama. It actually stays nice and crisp in a stir fry or saute, but in my opinion, jicama tastes best when it's raw. It's good shredded into a slaw, chopped with cilantro and onion in a salsa, or my favorite, cut into matchsticks or chips and used to scoop up guacamole. And sometimes I sprinkle it with lime juice and a little hot sauce and just eat it raw. Whatever you do, however you eat it or drink it, don't skip your prebiotic fiber. Your gut will thank you, your body will thank you, because I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out for you. Thanks for watching. 
click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video and don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips. Because I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out for you.